We were so stoked when iconic Australian brand Blundstone contacted us to design and make plinths to display their boots in retail stores. It was a complete shift in the workshop from making beds, but a really fun and creative project to get stuck into. We took the opportunity to use different materials, learn new skills and test new techniques. For this project, we selected recycled messmate lining boards that are milled locally at Timber Zoo, a timber yard in Geelong. It was our first trip as a family to the timber yard and Al enjoyed showing Goldie around, a place that I'm sure that she will get to know well. All of the timber has come out of demolished buildings and has been milled into thin boards. The beauty about this project was that we were able to use up all of their short pieces that aren't really that desirable for larger builds. The first step was to glue up all of the panels and set them aside to dry. As we made 12 plinths at three different heights, that's 60 different panels to glue up, four sides and the lids. We did this in batches over a few weeks as we were working with minimal clamps. And once the panels were dry, we went through and added resin to fill in all the grain and existing nail holes that are prominent when using recycled timber. To form the boxes, all of the edges were cut on a table saw and mitered together. Al used glue and nails to join them together around an internal structure so that that the boxes ended up perfectly square. The original plan was to burn the logo into the timber and we tried a technique that uses a chemical and a blowtorch, but after many tests, we just weren't happy with the result. We played around with a few other options and found that using a brown spray paint and light sand gave us the exact look we were aiming for. We then went through and double checked that all of the gaps in the grain were filled and did some last minute sanding touch-ups. Now that the construction of the plinths were complete, it was time to seal them. We used a hard wax oil to protect the timber and bring out the natural feature. We did a light sand in between coats and were careful not to mess with the Blundstone logos. Once we were finished, it only felt right to take them out into the paddock next door and get some photos. We are so happy with the final result. It's pretty amazing to think that this timber has been pulled out of old houses and will now live in shopping centres across Australia. If you'd like to see more photos from this project and other DIY projects, head over to alanimo.com.au.